Hey, what's going on everybody welcome back to another video today we are taking a look at the lego star wars winter 2018 sets that are actually already out so most of these sets i think are already out at toys r us so if you want to go check those out i'll leave a link down below in the description if you want to get your hands on some of these awesome sets guys please keep in mind this worst to best list is completely opinionated you guys are obviously going to have a lot of different kind of views on the sets let me know down below what you think what i did right what i did wrong in terms of ranking these sets and obviously i'm going to be excluding the price just because i think a lot of these sets are kind of overpriced so i think i'm just going to push that to the side i'm going to be solely ranking them based off of general appeal because starting from the worst in my opinion is going to be this darth vader buildable figure now i'm not a huge fan of the buildable figures uh in general so that's probably why i'm ranking him so low he looks really detailed don't get me long i'll probably end up picking one up um but yeah and just like that guys we're gonna have boba fett in the next one also just because i'm not a huge fan of the buildable figures like i said before um there's nothing personally wrong with them i think they're immaculate i think they look awesome but it's just the figures and that's kind of why guys moving on to the next one we're going to take a look at the first order tie fighter micro fighter this is kind of where i'm going to start getting into i don't necessarily hate them but i think their detail is incredible and i think the way that they kind of made this with the red colors i think it looks really really accurate uh, to the movie design now getting on to the next one guys is going to be one of the two battle packs part of this line this is going to be the tattooing battle pack now i'm really excited to get some jawas and the tuscan uh, raider but really i don't see much practicality in the actual set itself like i won't be using it so that's probably one of the reasons why i'm ranking this so low again nothing against it it's just i don't have a use for it guys getting into the next set is going to be the millennium falcon micro fighter this is one of the best sets in the line the amount of detail for such a small set is incredible you guys can see here there's over almost 100 pieces here and i think that's really cool and the detail is super super insane and that's something we're looking forward to guys getting on into the next one is going to be the a-wing tie silencer micro fighter set this is something i'm really looking forward to especially because it comes with the kylo ren minifigure i'm definitely going to probably pick up at least two of these one for at least for the minifigure but i think like the micro fighters before it i think they did a really good job in, uh capturing the fighters and how they actually look really really good compared to their sets guys moving on into the next one is going to be another micro fighter this is going to be the ski speeder versus the atm6 or the gorilla walker i'm very excited for this again because of the minifigures and because of the atm6 and the ski speeder i'm very excited to get these sets i really am looking forward to building this and including it in my collection Guys, getting on to the next one is going to be General Grievous's Combat Speeder. Now, this is a remake of an older set. I'm not a huge fan of the Clone Wars, although I am very excited. I'm going to be getting a, my very first General Grievous minifigure, um, so I'm very excited. I'm definitely going to pick this up. Now, guys, getting on into the second of the two battle packs, a part of this line, we have the First Order Specialist Battle Pack, and this is a huge step up from the original First Order Trooper Battle Pack. This thing comes with some awesome minifigures. I'm really excited to get the Specialist Trooper with the whole black kind of scheme. I think that's super awesome. And again, we have that awesome turret. So I'm really excited about this battle pack, guys. You know my addiction to battle packs. And I'm probably going to get a whole bunch of these, especially when they're on sale. Getting on into the last leg of these guys, we have the Octo Train set. Now, I have not seen the movie as of the timing of filming this video. But I'm really excited about getting the Porg and Rey and pretty much all the minifigures and Luke Skywalker as a little bit older character. So I'm really excited about that. I know it's a little pricey. I think it's a little bit too overpriced, but it looks like a fun build. It looks very detailed. Guys, getting in onto the kind of later sets, we have the most Icely Cantina. This is going to be my second set that I'm very happy for. I'm kind of happy for this because, again, of the minifigure selection. The set itself is pretty small, and like I said before, it's kind of a little bit overpriced. But in my opinion, I think it's worth it. I think it's cool because, especially for the minifigures and a Stormtrooper, I'm really, really kind of nerding out about. So that's going to be super, super cool. I guess my top pick has to be the Defense of Crate. I think this set is immaculate. I think the Ski Speeder is absolutely tremendous looking especially with the tower and the defenses that comes with a whole bunch of minifigures two awesome first order snow troopers and a few others i'm very excited to get my hands on this this is actually retailing for 85 dollars which i do believe firmly is way overpriced but again it's kind of lego they've been getting a little pricey recently i don't necessarily mind it i understand that big money um but i'm really excited for this set most of all so guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video about the LEGO Star Wars sets in 2018. Like I said before, these sets are actually available before 2018. You can find them at your Toys R Us, at least online. I'm not sure about in-store just yet. I did place an order for all of these sets, so they're going to be coming hopefully within the next two or three days. You guys are going to see a video about that. But let me know, guys, down below what you think. What is your favorite set about this line? I personally am very excited for the new sets. I can't wait to get my hands on them and actually build them, but I actually can't wait to see the movie. I'm going to probably be seeing it maybe in a week or so um, when I can actually finally get tickets. Um, so that's all we got for today guys hope you all enjoyed remember december 23rd i will be announcing the brand new mock that i'll be recreating on my channel and make sure you stay tuned because everything is going to be going back to normal in terms of mock videos and haul videos stuff like that i want to thank you all so much for watching i'll see you later peace